I want to show you another circuit simulator that I use. If you remember, or if you haven't seen it, we covered uh, Walkwe a while back, which is a great site for coding microcontrollers, interfacing with different types of sensors and devices. Awesome site. However, it's kind of light in the areas of analog circuitry. Every circuit, however, is heavy on analog and digital. It is really a circuit simulator. It does not have microcontrollers in it. And I thought it would be something that you could benefit from. It is $15, that's a lifetime purchase. I have used it for the last few years. It's great for learning. It's available on Android, iOS, in your browser. Uh, you don't have to have a network connection to make it work. I've used it on an airplane before. So with that, let's take a look at what every circuit offers for this $15. So I've logged into every circuit with my account. And one of the neat things about it is, is that you have this separation of workspaces over here on the left. If I click on the world, I can see everybody's circuits that, that have made them public. You don't have to make your circuits public if you don't want to. You can keep them private. However, you can learn a lot by looking at some of these circuits. Let's go into mine. So clicking on the house takes you to mine. And you can see if I click on one, I played around with some debounce circuits. Um, here's a uh, BJT mixer that I designed. Um, diode mixer. Anyway, you can kind of go a slow start. So you can play around with all these circuits. Let's go ahead and create a new one. Click new circuit up here. So we've got our ground. We'll add in a power supply. Go down here and make it five volts. high ground. Let's go ahead and if we look up here you can see that you've got different kinds of sources. We've got a signal, constant current, here's a resistor, we'll use that in a minute, cap, um, electrolytic cap, we've got an inductor, ground, uh, we have a voltmeter, an amp meter, an ohm meter, we've got um, voltage controlled sources, we've got pots, we've got a transformer, We've got a center tap transformer. We have an op amp. We've got switches. We've got a relay. We got a bulb. This is a DC motor. We've got, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and take a, do the classic light here. We're gonna do a um, LED, diode, um, zener. Uh, we got uh, transistors, of course, MOSFETs. Um, we also have a number of uh, digital components, including uh, set reset, you know, D flip flops, JK flip flops. Anyway, there's just tons of cool stuff. It doesn't have everything by any means, but you can certainly use it to play around with. So just right off the top, let's just put a circuit together. So I'm going to tie by clicking these two things together, these two things together. I can tie that back over here. I'll pick this up and move it around. Uh, let's say that this should probably be about what? Like 330 maybe. Let's see, let's make it 300. Boom. You click this here and it runs it. It shows you how much current. It shows you the voltage drops we're seeing. It says at this point, this is what we've got. We can add, let's see. We can add in a voltmeter here. What kind of drop do we have over this? Well, we, we pretty much know that. It's the difference between the drop over this and VCC. But I mean, this allows you to prove it to yourself. This allows you to play around. You see how the current flows. Um, it's just a really neat tool and it's a great way to learn analog circuitry. If you want to add in uh, frequency, you can generate, this is a one kilohertz um, frequency source, frequency generator. 
Uh, if you click down here on the wrench, you can adjust it. Let's say you want it at a different frequency. Um, so anyway, most of these parts, if you click on the wrench, you have things you can change about them. Here you can change the color, current, and then you can save it. When you go to save it, you give it a title. Is it public, private, unlisted? Mine, by default, it's private. We save it, and there you go. Now I can always go back to that circuit if I want. If I click New Circuit, I can bring it back up again, and there it is. Really a neat source for learning analog circuitry as well as digital. Um, you've also got a number of displays. Uh, like, let's say, let's take this data source here. Let's take this, uh, I'm sorry, this um, frequency generator. And just for the fun of it, let's. I want to show you something. What I'm trying to do is... I'm sorry, moving this around, I'm trying to delete some of this. Okay, so one last thing. I want to show you what you can do. You can look. That, that's one of the things I don't like is that is it moves when you when you grab the screen, when you miss grabbing a component, but just don't miss, I guess. Um, let's just put it through a resistor. Uh, you can rotate things. I pressed R. Uh, let's add another. See how I grabbed that wrong and it moved? I don't like that. Okay. See where it says frequency or time? So when we run the time, we can also put uh, an I here. Watch what happens. Let's grab. Hold on. We'll grab an I. Now what we're doing is we're actually seeing what's going on at that point. If we want to, we can stop it go back and look at it from a frequency perspective and this will give you uh, the, the it'll give you per frequency what the circuit is doing at different times and how much gain or loss that you have so oh the other neat thing you can do is you can take a photo which will give you a JPEG and then you can actually download it you can also share you can say that this is unlisted and then this URL you can share with somebody. They can then go and see it without having an account. Watch. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's save it. Let's, um, we're going to copy that link. I'm going to close my browser. I am going to open the browser again. Like if I had shared this with you. And now you can go in. It's very limited in what you can do, but you can see this circuit. You can even do things, some things with it. I don't know that you can edit it, but you can absolutely see it. So you can share circuits with other people and get their feedback. Anyway, I wanted to make this just a quick tip. I've gone on a little too long. Um, anyway, check out every circuit. You might find that it's uh, right up your alley and uh, it helps you learn something new every day. Take care.